All right, lads and ladies, we are back. And we're going into the house. Hey, I got beans. Hey, that's really good. Picked a lot. I got a stock certificate. Uh, I'm titling the bird of 42 shares of Diamond Suns Oil Works, a company based in New York. It's worth money. So much burnt. Poor humans. I wonder who buried the body. It's not cows. This is obvious. Probably a neighbor, I guess. Hmm. Toy box. Oh, no. Oh, no. Mary Stone's diary. Oh, no. The first page. This is the diary of Mary Stone's. The AI and diary are crossed out and the IA are written above them. Ah, oh, dairy. Okay. The diary starts out as typical kid stuff. You flip ahead and who knows writing getting shakier. Found a dolly under a cactus out back and she told me to tell her. And she told me her name was Grace. Mama and Papa don't believe me that she talks. They say I got a big imagination. Grace says the cows are going to get us, but Papa says we'll be okay because this were never a cow ranch. Grace says he's wrong, but Papa won't believe me. Grace says she can keep the cows away, but I got to play tea party with her. I don't like this kind of tea party, but Grace says it's important to keep the cows away. Mama was sad that they couldn't find Effie. Papa said she's going to be gone so long and that they should put, put a cross up, but Mama won't let him because she thinks she'll come back. Papa said she's only 11. How far could she have gone? And Mama started crying again. Don't want to play tea party anymore, but Grace says I have to. Papa was out two days looking for Joey, but of course he didn't find him. Mama cries so much. I tried to tell her him and Effie are keeping help the cow keep. Eh. Try to tell her him and Effie are helping keep the cows away, but she don't understand. I told Grace I'm not playing tea party again, but she says I got her, and if I don't, cows will eat all three of us. She said either I get Mama or Papa to play, or else I gotta play by myself. the work of a moment to fix the doll's voice box. Pull the string. You pull the string. The doll's eyes roll into the back of its head and mouth begins to move. Hi, I'm Grace. What's your name? None of my fucking, none of your fucking business. <laughs> You're funny. Do you want to play with me? No. That's okay. Someone else will come along soon. You're already dead anyway. Uh. Pull the string. I'm Kaz. Yes, let's play. Ray Mary used to play with me, but we didn't get to finish our tea party before she went away. Will you help me finish it? Hooray, the game's almost over. Mary did such a good job. Go downstairs and get my cup. Do you know the magic word to make the mean cow let you into a secret room? The magic word's peanut butter. Uh, uh, uh. So, yeah. Yeah, not into this. Not into this one bit. Can I open the crate? I can. I got some nails. And some candy. Uh, grab the food. Uh, peanut butter. Take the goblet. You got a goblet of blood. Oh, yay! There's a couple of blood from a cursed altar in a spooky secret basement moon. It's probably safe and fine and good. You are correct. It probably is. Do I want to give it to the doll? Sure. Uh, Grapes are laughing maniacally and climbs the ranch's house ruins chimney. She runs towards you. See you soon. And scampers off to the northwest. That's probably fine. I've still got the goblet. Okay. Let's go for a wonder. Um, solitary skeleton. Let's go beat him up. 23, let's just take him out. Shabam. And just ba ba. Atta boy. Skull chips. Yay. A little bit of XP. Let's go for another wonder. I want to go up north. Um. A small hell cow. A hell calf, really. Lure it into a trap. Hey, quickly dig a small pit and cover it with tumbleweed, which will light a fire. The hell calf canters over excitedly, whereupon you kick it into the hole and throw rocks at it until it's dead. 
Nice. Uh, open grave or a very teep pothole. Jump in. Ooh. A gold skull. Skull chips. Nice. Okay, so she flew up to the north. So let's head up here. Let's go to the mine. Yeah, I don't need to talk to my partner. <coughs> what does he know? That's empty. Okay. Hopefully we'll find lots of mining stuff. Uh, okay, roll lockers here must be used for storing their personal effects. First one is named Ellsbury Womb and doesn't have a lock on it. Ellsbury's helmet and a bottle of laudanum. Okay. Open the second locker. Uh, you open the door, reveal a skeleton covered with the same white ghouls on the outside of the locker. Ah, oh, you get it. This guy must have died after his co workers played a prank on him where they stuffed him into the locker and filled it with shaving cream. Can't believe you dang jerk stuffed me into the locker and then filled it with scaving, shaving cream. I died from that. Yells the skeleton, confirming both your insight and his vengeful, vengeful murderous intent. I'll fuck him up. Oh, the poor guy. He's just covered in the shit. Oh, damn. He's got a lot of health. Holy fuck. Um, so let's do all the stench damage. And yeah, now he's poisoned. So we'll summon a Gary. Oh, he's immune to poison. That was fucking good, wasn't it? Well, I'm just gonna go for the melee. Gary's little buddy's gonna smack. Um. Oh, here we go. Oh, maybe not that quick. Let's go to 200. Yeah. No, my poor golem. You leave him alone. <coughs> He's a beautiful baby boy. And I would appreciate it if you did not hurt him. Stop whiffing your shit. Leave Gary alone too. In fact, hit the golem. Fuck Gary. Uh, at least he's not suffering anymore and his bones are really clean. Skeleton bone, skull chips, and some loose teeth. And third locker. Combination locker and I don't know the combo. Okay, so I gotta figure that out. Hey, it's a vein. Oh, not what I wanted to do. Inventory. No, no, no. Also not what I wanted to do. I want to upgrade something. I kind of want to upgrade my bean golem. Because I think it'd be cool to see what it does. But I could also take more hellbender. But not fuck it. <laughs> I'm just going to do it. I'm going to take another point in mysticality too. Because that guy was kind of strong. So I need better spells. Hey, 30 foot shaft. Let's tie rope down. Tie rope on it and climb down rather. Yeah, boy, more meat. These stones have little triangles painted on them and they're in a triangle. It's a very triangle. Is this a puzzle? I feel like it's a puzzle. Hmm. Okay. Mining. 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 I don't like this. Reach in. I refine meat and I'll get my explaining bonus. A black fluid oozes from the vein. A scabrous mess that's glowed on the floor. I don't like this spiral one bit. This card is vibrating. A slit runs along the length of the meat vein. It goes further than you expected, but it's warm. A beating heart. I don't know if I want to rip out the beating heart just yet. It looks like this guy should have picked better friends. Give me that pick. Okay, well, no wait. This overturned one, anything? No. Keep going, rip it out. Okay. That's kind of unsettling. I was going to say, wait, where's my rope? the ropes the next one up yeah I didn't get anything that might tell me where the shit was did I I like my mysticality more than I like the armor um 
No, no. 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 I mean, I don't have anything. Oh, wait, I've got my cow, which is better. My rings. I can equip it if I want, but it doesn't give any stats. And I don't have any pants or boots. Up the rope. Um, so I didn't find anything that would tell me what the code is. So, we got to come back here. But we'll figure it out. Let's go, Dark Horse. Let's wander. Yeah, go there now. Dang it. <laughs> A tuna cactus. Okay. Oh. I like this walk. Um, an endless stream of snakes pours out of a hole in the canyon wall. Let's grab a big one. It doesn't look that big. Bean golem. Bam. He doesn't look that much bigger, honestly. Bam. Go, Gary. Oh, he hits a lot fucking harder, though. A snake liver. Ooh, that's a lot of healing. Grab a big one. Let's go again. Summon my golden boy. And then carve him up. And then Gary. I'm going to kill all these goddamn snakes. Still not enough. Grab a handful. Oh, shit. Oh, but they're not that strong. Okay. Cast spell. Slash him. Get that one, Gary. Yeah. Now, beanie boy, just kill one. Because you're my beanie boy and I believe in you. Yeah. One, two. And now, beanie boy. Oh, shit. That one's got way more health. Bam. No. Uh, as long as I keep attacking the bean, I'm fine. Snake venom bladder. Poison's target for five. And another snake liver. So, can I just keep doing this? I mean, I haven't actually checked because I'm an idiot. I didn't check how much EXP I've been getting from this, but I mean... Free EXP? It's good stuff. And I've never been against grinding in RPGs, you know? If anything, I'm pro-grind. I really need more fucking AP, though. Leave poor Gary alone. Oh, damn it, I didn't check again. Grab another handful. Last one, promise. See, I can summon him, but then I can't use my Lava Father. And I want to use my Lava Father, because it's strong. You know? But my Bean Boy is also very strong. But my Bean Boy's also been upgraded. My Lava Father hasn't. Go, Gary. In one round of combat should kill this guy. Shabam. And Gary. Shabam. And now Beanie, Shazam. Okay. How much EXP? 40. That's pretty good. So, Gumption was the right one, right? Yeah. So I'll need two points of it to get more AP, though. That's fine. Um. I don't think I need more Blood Beans. I could upgrade Lava Fava. Which I will. Bean Shield is honestly also pretty good. What's Grit give me? More HP. Ooh, more meat gains. Let's take some Glamour as well. And some Mysticality. Just to spend all of our points. Ow. Eek. Yow. <coughs> A snake fountain. I guess that's the only way to describe it. Yeah, weird. We have Fortune being useful snake fountain for what? Free snakes. Oh. I mean, it's not fucking wrong, is he? Oh, it's another ranch. Let's go, boys. Give me some mad cows. Fuck him up. Oh, he's pretty tough. But you know what else is pretty tough? My boon. And my 22 damage. Magic. And he's burning too. Summon my Gary friend. Now, uh, send ship. For the poison. Because I can't do much else to him. Oh, he's actually, yeah, quite strong. 
Thank God for Beanie. Also, thank God for Poison? Hell yeah, Poison's actually very strong. Painted Beefsteak. And some extra thick leather. Leather, rather. I'll take that rope. I'll take that needle. I'll have a look at this fireplace. Ooh, hot damage instead of physical. You notice some words carved in the side of the warehouse. Curly was here. Wait a second. You recognize that name? Curly. Curly Butterfield. The legend of Curly's meat. Well, it looks like maybe this outhouse is worth investigating. Lucky you don't actually have to go inside the outhouse because once you open the door, you find a map scratched onto the inside of it. Coleridge Mine, just of where you are right now. Hey. That's where I just was. Wait, what did it say again? Uh, big X in the middle of three weird triangular. <laughs> God fucking damn it. You have nothing to churn. Okay, so if I get milk, I can come back here. I don't have lockpick in two. Oh. Every single cow in the Butterfield Dairyhood is now an ungulate. An infernal cow spirit bound to stone. They're not dangerous unless you get near them. He doesn't seem that tough. Just in case. Cast a spell. Shabam. Take him out. Yeah, he's not that tough at all, actually. Oh, shit, that hurt. <laughs> a geode. That's, that's a lot of moxie. Okay, we're heading back to the mine. Dynamite Dens Discount Dynamite Warehouse. So I'm assuming I could buy the year's supply of dynamite from there if I wanted. Ooh, look at that walk. That lovely little walk. Climb down. Dig it. Curly's compass. Examine it. Northwestish. Ah, okay, so this is going to be a puzzle. So I need to go never eat soggy wheat fix. North. So up and left a bit. Let's check it. Let's go to the big apple. Um. See a hell car. Fucking kill it. Summon my bean. Summon my fireball. Shazam. Summon my Gary. Ow. Roasted cow tongue. Full brass ring. Ooh. Meat and some more leather. Okay. Curly's compass. Northwestish. Still northwest. Okay. So it'll be up here somewhere. Destroyed campsite. Let's go there. Bag. I got some potted meat. Wow, that's really strong. Tends a real mess. It looks like it was trampled by a whole herd of cows. There's something odd about it, though. Oh, yeah, it kind of looks like a corpse. I think maybe this used to be a person. This human is popped. Gary did not human. No human is to popping. Oh, no, we don't. Not in that sense, I think you mean, anyway. This meat, it's very large. All of it. Human corpse contains all this? Oh, uh, well, yeah. Ugh, I could not bear to carrying all of that. So squishy. Follow the tracks. Follow the cow tracks for 100 yards or so, after which they stop suddenly. There doesn't seem to be anything of interest nearby. Hmm. Property of Fort All Dead Library. Yeah, Beancroft! Let's wander again. Old mission. Let's go there. First things first, though. What do we got? Ooh, gives wary a skill that increases your max. Ah, I'm taking wary. Oh, but at the same fucking time, a spell which deals cold damage to all of your enemies. It's an AOE. But I need max AP. Yeah, boy. So how much does that cost to level up? A hundred. But it doubles. That's really good. Cause yeah, next level up I wouldn't even get more points. So we're in the mission. Pew 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 pew. You're not a priest, so you shouldn't mess with any of this stuff. Pew pew pew. Okay, same joke. Sorry, the catacombs are off limits. Oh, but I've always wanted to see a catacomb. It's not without Sister Mary's permission, which she's the only other nun here. Ah. Hello. Oh my goodness. They came back. They just came back and took them. I couldn't stop them. Now, holy relics, the saints just stomped up out of the catacombs and took them back. I don't know what to do. I thought they maybe they'd fire me if I didn't stop them. The cardinal will be here any minute. What am I going to do? Uh, try to calm down. I'm Sister Mary. 
Our mission, uh, mission is to protect three sacred relics. I'm the relic keeper. It's my job to look after them. Wait, so do they call you Mentor Ma? She shows you the rule she keeps tucked in her sleep. No, they don't. Okay. <clears throat> the saints, oh, it's too horrible. They just, they came to life somehow. They came up out of the catacombs, all skeletal and ghastly looking. I mean, it's probably blasphemy to say that, but I nearly fainted. Yes, and if they don't recover before the cardinal gets here, uh, actually, he's months overdue, but it's probably not all that urgent, but still. Thank you so much. Oh, wait a second. You're going to have to fight them to get the relics back? Because that's probably blasphemous to... I mean, probably, but if black magic brought them back to life, that's super blasphemous, right? So it evens out. Oh, dear. The cardinal is going to want to have a very long talk about this, but go ahead. Okay, let's go kill some priests. Look inside. It's empty. Curious. Curiously stacked pyramid of skulls are all riled up and twitching. You sure? There's a lot of them. They're, they're really mad. Okay, let's not kick them. Skull has a gold tooth. I got a gold tooth. Ah, uh, twitching in nerving fashion. No. Skull is sitting at a weird angle. I got a spoon. Ah, it's Moxie. Skull is whispering at you. Skull is whispering at you. It sounds like gibberish. Though. It's really creepy gibberish. For some reason. Pick it apart. A creepy whispering stone. Listen to it. Rock is really whispering up a storm. It's in some weird dialect you can barely understand though. Wait, it's not. It's a thick accent is all. <laughs> you listen carefully to the stone. Over the course of a few minutes, the whispers resolve into comprehensible English. The stuff the stone is whispering turns out to be pretty boring. It's mostly just trivia about the geology of Tennessee. Meaningless to you, unless you're planning a spelunking trip soon. Oh, well, at least you can understand the accent now. So now I can talk to this one, I guess. <coughs> Skull was with some dark mountain secrets to you, which we can't print here because your computer would catch fire. But, hey, 20 XP and nothing to scoff at. Okay, let's whisper to them. You whisper some ancient words of appeasement to the bones and they settle down a bit. Yeah, no combat. Oh, God. Okay. This way to Pasil del Santo. That pile of skulls is decorative, of course. Uh, can I whisper to any of these? Nope, guess not. Oh, they're kind of tough, actually. This is scary. Uh, let's fireball. 39. 39. Shazam! And summon a Gary. Even though I really should just be focusing on killing it. <laughs> You gain the effect angry. Get so angry about losing that fight that you pass out. Day three, you get the idea. Oh, never mind. It's not going to keep going. Nice view from up here. Insult myself. So I guess. Hmm. Is there a skill that lets me get angrier? Um. Losing fire. Ah, okay. So yeah, if I upgrade grit again, I can get even angrier. Yeah, damn, that's some stats right there. Holy shit. And I shouldn't be eating, because I've got capacity to eat stuff. Um. So what do we got for food? You know what? I should actually end this episode off here. This game is really fucking good, though. Howdy, Lloyd. Uh, see you later, Lloyd. Can I get some darts? Ah, uh, sorry, the darts got broken. Okay, see you later, Lloyd. How do I save this? I guess it's just automatic. Kaz blank. boy. So anyway, everybody. I would like to thank you all for watching. And I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.